Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Emil Ennis Jr. back here with Clever News. And real life romance between lead actors is pretty common in Hollywood, but it's not unusual for a relationship to develop between an actor and a set director. It actually happens more often than you think. Let's break it down. So it was just a few short weeks ago when fans were welcomed warmly into the new year with photo evidence that actress Olivia Wilde had accompanied Harry Styles to a small wedding as the two were seen walking together hand in hand. Now fans were especially shocked over the timing of their reported relationship considering Olivia and her fiance, Jason Sudeikis, had announced their split just two months prior in November. But more so over the fact that Olivia is currently directing Harry in the upcoming film, Don't Worry Darling. The two were also recently spotted outside of Harry's Los Angeles home around the same time photos surfaced, although many reports claim that her split with Jason was not a result of her alleged relationship with Harry. One source told People that Olivia and Jason have since adapted to raising their two children very smoothly, saying, quote, the split happened at the beginning of the year, it's been amicable, and they've transitioned into a great co-parenting routine. The children are the priority and the heart of the family's relationship. But it seems Olivia had her eye on Harry for quite some time, as it was revealed that by Following the announcement that Harry would be cast in Don't Worry Darling, back in September, she couldn't have been happier. While describing her excitement she shared with the film's costume designer, Ariane Phillips, Olivia said, she and I did a little victory dance when we heard that we officially had Harry in the film, because we knew that he has a real appreciation for fashion and style, and this movie is incredibly stylistic. It's very heightened and opulent, and I'm really grateful that he is so enthusiastic about that element of the process. Some actors just don't care. But aside from Harry and Olivia rumors, Jennifer Lawrence actually found romance back with her director Darren Aronofsky on the set of the horror thriller Mother in 2016. She and Darren started dating shortly after filming before the movie wrapped, and their only red carpet appearance together was for the film later that year. Jen opened up about her relationship with Darren at the time, saying, quote, I normally don't like Harvard people because they can't go two minutes without mentioning that they went to Harvard. He's not like that. Their relationship ultimately came to an end after almost a year of dating, as Jen even shaded Darren after Mother received mixed reviews. She told Variety, quote, we'd be on the tour together. I come back to the hotel and the last thing I wanna talk about or think about is the movie. And he comes back and that's all he wants to talk about. She added, I was doing double duty of trying to be a supportive partner while also being like, can I please for the love of God not think about mother for one second? Say what you want, but pretty sure the real reason for the split was in Jen's words that Darren found her love of reality TV and the Kardashians vastly disappointing. Somewhere out there, Kris Jenner is adding Darren's name to the burn book as we speak. But famous director Tim Burton, who is known for directing films like Beetlejuice and Sleepy Hollow, to name a few, split with his partner of 13 years, Helena Bonham Carter, back in 2015, after the two met when he directed her on the set of Planet of the Apes back in 2001. Helena has taken on some other major Hollywood roles, more notably starring as Princess Margaret in Netflix's hit series The Crown, and Bellatrix in the Harry Potter series. Throughout their time together, Helena and Tim teamed up on many other movies, including Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Sweeney Todd, Dark Shadows, and Alice in Wonderland. Back in November, she opened up about her split with Tim, in which they shared two children together, explaining that while she was reluctant to end her relationship with him, quote, the cruelty of divorce is extraordinary, but then you get to the point where you're like, oh, I get this week off. Some parts are very much to be recommended. As of now, they both appear to be in a good place and are able to amicably co-parent their children, but Steven Spielberg and his wife Kate Capshaw have been going strong for 29 years now and also found love on the set of 1984's Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. However, around the time they started dating, Steven was still married to actress Amy Irving. And although their marriage was basically over, aside from the whole legally bound on paper aspect, Kate was heavily accused of ruining his family. But despite the hardships, these two have beat the odds and are set to celebrate their 30th wedding anniversary come October of this year. And finally, Kristen Stewart's affair with Snow White and the Huntsman director Rupert Sanders back in 2012 was one of the most buzzworthy scandals of the last decade after the two were caught kissing while she was still dating her Twilight co-star, Rob Pattinson. Things escalated between Kristen and Rupert a year after they began filming for Snow White, when paparazzi photos surfaced of the two partaking in public PDA around Los Angeles. Fans and twihards around the world were so in denial about the affair that they began claiming that the photos had been photoshopped just before Kristen issued a public statement confirming the rumors. She said, quote, I'm deeply sorry for the hurt and embarrassment I've caused to those close to me and everyone this has affected. 
This momentary indiscretion has jeopardized the most important thing in my life, the person I love and respect the most, Rob. I love him, I love him, I'm so sorry. Rupert, who was married to his wife, Liberty Ross, with whom the two share two children together, also issued his own statement to Us Weekly that read, I am utterly distraught about the pain I have caused my family. My beautiful wife and heavenly children are all I have in this world. I love them with all my heart. I am praying that we can get through this together. Liberty filed for divorce a year later and it was finalized in 2014. At the time of the affair, sources revealed that Rob was completely devastated and didn't know if he should forgive her or not. But he decided to give it another go round after reconciling with Kristen and reportedly moving back in together. Their relationship fizzled out by early 2013 when sources revealed that the two were having problems and fighting a lot and ultimately called it quits. Now, although we love us a movie turned reality celebrity love affair, sometimes it's best to leave the romance for the big screen. And that's the tea. But for more on Harry and Olivia, you can click right over here for another Clever News video. And then let us know your thoughts on actor-director relationships and if you were surprised by anybody on this list down in the comment section below. I'm your host, Emil Ennis Jr. You can find me on Instagram at Emil Ennis Jr. And I'll see you soon right back here on Clever News. Bye, y'all.